Hi, my name's Charlie King. I'm with Heroic Fatherhood and welcome to your Mentor's Moment. In today's question, a dad asks, I feel like I'm flailing as a dad, a spouse, and in business. How do I do all of this? <laughs> wow, is this a great question. It can seem like so much, oh my gosh. As an entrepreneur, when you work for yourself, especially if you're working from home, to have a new baby in the house or multiple children of almost any age and maintaining being a spouse and a, a loving, caring partner to yours and kid stuff and play dates and naps and sports and as they get older, teenagers and all the things that go along. How does anybody do this? Oh my gosh, it seems like ah, nobody could do it all. <laughs> This is totally normal. I have a question for you. Have you seen a TED Talk? Have you seen a TED Talk, right? Or have you seen a world leader standing on the world stage giving a speech going, yes, and we see a vision for 2020 and 2022? Or the TED Talk person who's like, and the reality of life is that uh, I have this, there's this algorithm that we will create and it will solve all problems. And what you should see is that because of my accent, I seem to know everything. And, we, and that's the way it feels that like you, if you've ever been seen someone selling from the stage, like a, a motivational speaker, someone they're selling from the stage and they're super confident about what they're selling. You just, I, I'll tell you how I am. I just want to jump into their arms and say, save me, you know, take me into your arms, make everything okay. Right? <laughs> it's really easy when we see somebody who seems to have it all pulled together and they seem super confident about where they're at and what's going on and how's this going to be fixed and they seem to have all the answers to all the problems, it's easy to just want to go, protect me from it all. Don't let the bad people get me. I don't ever want to have doubt again. I totally get this. See, because confidence is sexy and confidence sells as well. And this is why we buy all the stuff and the services and the apps. And some of them have huge value and there's nothing wrong with that. And we should jump into those things when we find them. If you find that thing that makes a difference for you, you should go do that. And if you find a service or a product or a thing that goes, you should definitely take those things on. Here's the secret. There is no secret to success. Everybody's making it up. Nobody knows the answer. Nobody does. Nobody knows how this all works out. Right? See, the bottom line is everybody who stands, whether they stand in a, in a playground or the parking lot of a school or in front of a school board or in front of a city council or in front of the world stage, none of them have it all figured out and none of them feel nearly as confident as they look. Nobody has it figured out. They're making it up as they go along. They're doing the best with what they have. And as new information comes in, they're changing their opinions. That's the bottom line. And that's the secret to success is understanding that there is no right way to do it. There's no right way to become successful at anything, whether it's parenting or business or anything else. There are people who have found success in their work. They found success in their happiness in their marriage. They found success in their parenting styles because it worked for them and they didn't have a plan either. So if you don't feel like you have a plan for success, that's okay. What you can't see in that person standing on the stage was the decade of suffering, struggling, and not knowing if what they're doing was going to be successful until they got it and it clicked and they started moving with it. If you find yourself going through the same stuff where you feel like you're struggling, that's exactly where you're supposed to be. You're on the path. You're on your way. You get to keep moving forward and you get to have the experience of learning as you go along, learning what works best as a parent, learning what works best as a spouse, learning what work works best as a dad, learning what works best as a man. See, those people who are up on the TED Talk stage, up on a product stage where they're selling stuff to you, they worked it out, but it took them years and you're not seeing all those years of struggle. You're just seeing that moment that they finally clicked with what they were gonna do. And there's nothing different between where they're at and where you're at that time doesn't allow. See, the thing is, is that it's all made up anyways. And they stumbled their way into success the same way that we're gonna stumble our way into success. We just keep moving forward. We keep trying things and it's all made up anyways. So if it's all made up, you get to decide what that is. And for some people, when you say it's all made up, you're like, no, whoa, wait a minute. If there's no plan, if there's no grand plan, I, I don't want any part of this. This is whoa, easy on that whole it's all made up thing. 
but I want to suggest there's another way to look at it. And here's the other way to look at it. If there's no grand plan and it's all made up, you get to make it up. You get to make up what kind of parent you want to be. You get to make up what your relationship with your spouse looks like. You get to make up what your marriage looks like. You get to make up who your friends are. You get to make it up. You're going to have friends who are successful in their own measurement of success or in the measurement of what we think society thinks we should be successful. But the only person that it really matters to is you. And if you decide that you want to be successful in a way that doesn't look like anybody else's success, good on you. Keep moving forward. There is no recipe for success. There is no blueprint for success. There is finding success by doing the work and keep moving forward and see what works. See what works for you. See what works for your family. See what works for your business and keep moving forward. This was such a great question. Thank you so much for asking. So I have a question for you. If you're watching this video, how would you have addressed this dad's issue? Also, did you know that we have an entire YouTube channel that you can subscribe to? Oh my God, who knew? If you're looking at this in YouTube right now, make sure to click the subscribe button and like bonus offer, total pro tip, upper in the upper bar, right about up here, is a little bell and that's the notifications. If you click that, you'll see the moment that we post a brand new video, you'll be notified right away. Who wouldn't want that? And there's something I want to remind you. We become better men by spending time with good men. Again, my name's Charlie King. I'm with Heroic Fatherhood, and this has been your Mentor's Moment.